Greetings, uh, great churches and pastors of the Potomac District. Thank you for all you do around the world. Your heart for missions is evidenced in the missionaries you send, in the prayers, and in your great giving. Thank you. We are so grateful for your partnership with Project Rescue. You know, I know that human trafficking can seem like just this massive issue. So rather than talk about the big numbers, I, I want to show you, you really can make a difference and introduce you to one girl whose life was changed. In 2002, I lost my freedom. I was trafficked from my home in Nigeria to Madrid, Spain. My trafficker said I had to pay a debt of 45,000 euros. They forced me to sell my body. The streets of Madrid became my prison. I was raped, beaten, humiliated every day for 11 years. But one day, Finally, light entered. I was arrested and put in a detention center. But my traffickers were coming to take me back. They would walk through the door any moment. I was terrified. But when the door opened, it was someone else. I did not know it then, but this this was my rescue day. God was going to save me. This gift helped set me free. It helped put Jesus in my life. I know you want to see it. But traffickers will see this testimony too. And if they know about it, they will make sure my rescuers cannot give such a gift to women on the streets anymore. I did not understand then, but now I know who helped make my rescue day possible. Jesus, walking through you. I never heard the names Light for the Lost or Project Rescue before, but now those names are precious to me. You brought light into my life through them. You took me out of the streets and brought me to Jesus. Thank you. When I entered the Project Rescue home, I, I was afraid and angry. I was not yet free. They told me that God would give me a new heart and help me heal. It took time, but that's exactly what happened. I entered this home a slave to fear, but I left it a child of God. I am surrounded by songs of deliverance, and we've been liberated. Remember the gift that set me free? Light for the Lost Funds provided it so women and girls can find freedom from sexual exploitation. Thousands are being trafficked right now. They wait for their rescue day. Thank you, Light for the Lost and Project Rescue for bringing light into my world. Thank you for my freedom. Rescue me and I will stand and sing I am a child of God Yes, I am, I am a child of God Amy is my friend. Last year when I visited Amy, her head was down as she told her story in a whisper. She was broken in body 
and spirit. But this year, Amy was completely different. She shared her story boldly with an emphasis on God's grace. As other girls shared, I watched Amy put her hand on their shoulder, encouraging them and praying for them. On Wednesday night, when we went to the area where the girls are sold, uh, we saw every few hundred yards another girl standing on the curb, almost fully naked, fully on display to the customers who drove by to select their girl. It's heartbreaking to see the depravity and to talk with them. Down one street, you find girls from Nigeria. On another street, it's girls from Romania. On and on it goes. It's a place of darkness, sadness, and evil. Amy was with me in my car. It was her first time to return to the place where girls are sold. She was so frightened. She told me she was going to stay in the car and let others talk to the girls. We entered the area, stopped on the side of the road beside the first girl. And all of a sudden, to my surprise, Amy jumped out of her car, grabbed a gift bag for the girl, and started talking to her. I had tears in my eyes, watching another page in her story of God's healing and delivering power. Amy is a miracle. Her story ends in triumph because of God's power and your giving. Thank you. The problem in Spain is epidemic. Girls come from all over the world thinking they're going to be a nanny or working in a resort, but instead they're forced into prostitution. Our director in Spain explains it this way, Spain has become the Amazon of human trafficking. If you need it or want it, you can fight it in Spain. We have worked with girls from Scotland, Brazil, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Nigeria, Venezuela, Peru, Santa Dominga, Africa, Russia, Eastern Europe, and Romania, from all over the world, they come. From time to time, you'll hear the story of someone who's escaped from being trafficked. But these girls can't escape on their own. If they could, they would. They can't escape, but they can be rescued. The difference between escape and rescue is that in a rescue, someone or something helps you break free from the trap. Someone with more knowledge, a different way or a different plan. Someone with a different perspective. Picture it this way. You're stuck in quicksand. When you struggle and try to get out, what happens? You sink deeper. You can't escape. But if I'm standing beside you on dry land, I reach out my hand and take yours. And because I'm on a different level, a firm foundation, I can pull you out. You didn't escape. You were rescued. We must reach out our hands to these girls. We must pull them out of darkness and into the marvelous light. It isn't easy. It's emotionally draining and exhausting. It's certainly not without opposition. Evil men fight, Satan fight. It's a physical and spiritual battleground. It's not inexpensive. In fact, it's very expensive, but it's worth it. Every time, every girl, every soul, every life. Finally, it's not optional. We have a biblical mandate. Proverbs 31, 8 says, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. The partnership between Project Rescue and Light for the Lost is chain-breaking, life-giving, and powerful. The money you give provides materials to reach the girls, the gift bags, the Bibles, the books are an entry point. They're the first ray of light into the lives of those girls that are filled with darkness, and the result is life change. The Project Rescue Safe Home in Madrid is a place of light and life and hope. The home can best be summed up by this statement from one of the girls. She said, everyone that knew me said I couldn't change, but people here told me, you are a miracle. Thank you for making miracles happen. I challenge you to join us again. Join us again in helping see women and children and girls set free. Would you take a moment, shoot this QR code, and make a commitment. Together, we are going to change lives. We're going to bring the light of Jesus and change the world. 
Thank you, Pastor Rod Loy, for sharing the backstory of Amy, who was brought into the light of God's love. This is one of the many projects that Life for Lost funds with your giving. Here in these unprecedented times, we are coming to you by way of video to share the ministry of Life for the Lost and Project Rescue. Life for the Lost provides evangelistic resources for missionaries and missionary partners through print, audio, video, internet, and technologies. In our world and during this pandemic, the lost still remain very lost. But the light of Christ is brighter than ever. From the streets of Madrid, to the prisons, the college campuses, high school campuses, Teen Challenge Centers, Life of Lost is still providing resources for evangelism, fire Bibles for those who need God's Word. Will you do as what Rod has suggested, make a difference in your giving by Life of the Lost? You can give with the QR code that's on the screen or by downloading the Faith Promise form. In these times, let's trust God to help us to reach out and continue to spread the light. Thank you very much and let your light shine. God bless you.